hello and welcome back to Oversteer Auto Reviews. Here I have this 2021 Mercedes-Benz S580 formatic to review courtesy of Mercedes-Benz of Seattle. Now today is a special day. This is the one year anniversary of Oversteer Auto Reviews. And for that, I would like to thank all of my viewers and subscribers. Now the goal for next year is to reach monetization before 2022. And that's where I'm trying to go. So if you could please subscribe, that would help me out quite a bit. Now without further ado, let's break this vehicle down and complete a review. Now before I actually get started on the review, I wanted to break down the trim levels on the S-Class. Well technically there are sub trim levels because there is a S500 and then there's this S580. The S500 uses an inline 6 turbocharged engine where the 580 has a twin turbocharged V8. Now within both of these trim levels there are sub trim levels I would say. There are three, the luxury line, the AMG line, and the executive line, which we have right over here. The luxury line is pretty much just a base S-Class. You'll have to option out all the features. The AMG line will give you AMG styling, which is a front bumper, a side skirt, rear end, and AMG styled wheels. And the red interior probably suits that vehicle the best. And then you have this executive line, which has pretty much every option. You will have to option the Burmester 3D high-end surround system for around $3,000. And then there's some other paint options which you can add to the S-Class to make it even more expensive. But that's the basic overview. Now let's get into the review. The front fascia on the 2021 S-Class has been completely refreshed and redesigned for the 2021 model year. And the main thing that you've noticed over the previous generation are these brand new headlights. And these headlights are indeed adaptive and they also have ultra wide high beams with high beam assist as well from the factory. Mercedes-Benz does this on all their vehicles. I do like the way these headlights are designed, but if we're speaking about personal preference, I do like the entire front end on the previous generation S-Class a bit better. This vehicle does however shine to be a lot better than that previous generation I'm going to outline why. Now on the bottom you do have that classic Mercedes-Benz S-Class front end design along with these rivets in the bottom for increased airflow into the 4 liter twin turbo V8 which I will show you in a bit as well. Now we also have this very large grill with these radars in front and the front facing camera for when you are parking and that is a very helpful tool right inside this warehouse I've already used it quite a bit and I'd say the resolution and overall function is quite good. You also have this chrome grill with chrome pieces all over the front end and I do like this as well. It's an S-Class so it should be covered in chrome. There are also parking sensors on the front bumper which are always helpful especially when you are maneuvering such a large vehicle. Now one thing that is special about the 2021 S-Class is that we get the three-pointed star hood ornament. Now for 2021 and for quite a while now the S-Class is the only vehicle which gets this hood ornament. And when you're driving, you also do feel like you have a very poised and stated vehicle. That's what it is. Let's get into the engine bay. Now before actually getting into the engine compartment, let's show you how to get there first because it took me some time. The first step is actually to go inside the driver's foot weld. There you will find a red latch. That red latch needs to be pulled twice. I repeat, twice to actually fully release the hood. Once you do come back to the hood, all you have to do is simply pull it up. There is no manual release anywhere near here. All you have to do is pull a latch twice. You're welcome. Now in a usual review, I would say underneath the hood, but this isn't a regular review because the car here is quite classy. So underneath the bonnet, we have this four liter twin turbocharged V8 motor which produces 496 horsepower and 516 pound-feet of torque. Now those numbers with the aid of the 9G Tronic 9-speed automatic transmission and all-wheel drive formatic drivetrain will propel the vehicle to 60 miles an hour in just 4.6 seconds. Considering this vehicle weighs 6,200 pounds, that's impressive. A lot of you call Hellcats boats. This is a land yacht. Now a few other things to notice about the engine bay is well the VIN number has been embossed into the actual chassis of the vehicle and the harness tuck hasn't actually been tucked very well that's just something I'm being nitpicky about no real S-Class owner is going to actually open the hood of this vehicle they're going to enjoy the rear seats in comfort but just something to notice that the wires are blatantly visible let's move on to the wheels 
Now, usually I'd be at the front wheel to show you the wheel and tire setup, but there's something special about these rear wheels. Now, in the executive line and executive line only, this S-Class will get rear wheel steering. What that does in parking conditions is that these wheels will turn opposite to the front wheels and provide up to 10 degrees of turning, and that decreases your turning radius by up to six feet, allows you to maneuver a lot easier, especially in a vehicle that's long, that's very helpful. Now, speeds below 37 miles an hour, these wheels will turn either direction to provide better grip, and these wheels will turn up to four and a half degrees. Speeds above 37 miles an hour, these wheels will be turning up to three degrees. Now, these are the Aero Twin 10 spoke wheels. These are 19 inches in diameter and have a width of 255 millimeters all around. These are quite classy wheels and the brakes behind them are also quite large as well. Now on all of my previous Mercedes-Benz videos, you know how much I love keyless go and this S-Class has it as well. It just requires a bit of a learning curve with these brand new handles, which in my opinion do resemble the Tesla Model S. I just think they're a lot classier. Now when you do walk up to the vehicle, the vehicle is locked as you can see since the mirrors have been folded inwards. Now in order to have the door handles pop, all you do is apply some pressure to it. You'll also see that Mercedes-Benz has been embossed into the door handle itself. And in order to actually lock the door, you have a little touchpad like you have had on all Mercedes-Benz vehicles from the past. Now this door does have a lot of weight to it, which I do love. And they're also soft closing, so if the door does not close completely, the machine inside the door will actually close it for you. And once you do tap lock, all of the handles go in and it's great. Now fuel economy isn't the greatest, but it's not bad either. 17 in the city, 25 on the highway, minimum octane rating of 91 octane. Obviously you wouldn't want to cheap out on gas on a full size luxury vehicle. And uh, based on the demographic of this vehicle, you really shouldn't be worried about fuel economy in the first place. Now here we are at the rear end on the S580, and this is actually the part where the vehicle got most of its criticism for being too boring and too plain and too much like the new C-Class, and I actually really, really like this rear design. Now the tail lights are pretty much the thing that resemble the lower base models, the CLA, the C-Class, and uh, a bit of the GLA as well, but I actually think these work really well into the sloped and sculpted rear end on the S-Class. We also have a very large chrome piece running from end to end, like you did see on the S-Class coupe of the previous generation. Now the lower portion does have chrome finishes along with exhaust tips, which are really just exhaust exits, and at least the exhaust tips do actually come pretty close to them. I'd say it's a win based on how fake of an exhaust I've seen on other vehicles. Now, obviously with a big vehicle, you'd want a big trunk. So that's exactly what I'm gonna show you. Obviously, electronic trunk, really, really large space. You also have a little hook for when your chauffeur picks up your business suits from the dry cleaners. And you also have a little storage compartment underneath this panel right over here. There's actually no spare tire, just a spot. <clears throat> tire release latch kit and uh, well let's get on with the trunk test trying not to scratch this beautiful black paint which does give a brownish tone in certain lighting conditions now obviously watching my head this is actually pretty comfortable of a trunk I would easily be able to close the actual trunk lid uh, into the interior. Now here we are in the rear seats on the 2021 Mercedes-Benz S580 executive package. Now I am specifically in this right seat because there is a configuration where this right seat does move forward all the way and it brings out the footrest so you can actually almost lie completely flat like a first class airplane seat and I'll show you that function right now. I've pressed the button on the door panel right over there, which also hosts our seat functions. Now for 2021, these have been turned into haptic buttons instead of actual full fixed buttons. And well, because of that, it's a bit of a learning curve to actually 
learn how these seats do move based on your user input, but that's all okay because this is a very nice vehicle indeed. Now one thing I also noticed about this door panel is that there is no door handle to actually push. It's just a insert within the door which you do push. It's also finished in this beautiful Napa leather exclusive Sienna Brown that is a $3,100 option for this interior. If it's worth it, that's up to you and how much money you do have to spend. We do have a base Burmester sound system. This is not the 3D high-end surround, but it is quite worthwhile. We also have a compartment for where you can put out your cigarettes. These seats do have two memory functions. And as you can see right now, I have laid completely flat and it's absolutely great over here. This mirror does have a sunshade along with the rear mirror and the side mirror as well. Those are all controlled by these two switches and within the infotainment system. Now these screens also have remotes which belong in the center armrest where usually the control is. When this vehicle is sold, there will be a Samsung tablet which hosts into this compartment and will control both of these screens. And you'll think that, oh, it's so far away, how will I be able to use the touchscreen on that? And that's where the controller does come into play. This rear seat area does also have a wireless phone charger within the cubby along with two USB-C ports. Great for people who are very tech heavy. The rear seats also have their own sunroof, which makes this a moonroof controlled from the front or the infotainment system itself. I also like that the ambient lighting does wrap all the way around behind these seats and talking about the behinds of these seats, there are quite plush suede pillows behind in front of the armrest and I do like that a lot. Overall this vehicle does feel very high end and very luxurious as the S Class should. This vehicle is the pinnacle of luxury as Mercedes calls it the standard in luxury and it's absolutely great. You can see that this vehicle has been made with quality as their main intent. I do like the rear seats of this vehicle a lot. This is actually the second best rear seats I've ever been in and the best were in a Maybach S600. So that just tells you how good these seats really are. Let's move up to the front. I'll show you the complete front end along with a small overview on the brand new MBUX infotainment system. Now here we are on the driver's side and front area on the 2021 Mercedes-Benz S580. This is the executive package like I mentioned before and it is very, very luxurious in here. The Sienna Brown exclusive Napa leather with the black upper is absolutely stunning. The seats are diamond stitch with black piping and black stitching and it looks absolutely phenomenal. We do have this very large 12.9 inch display right in front of the driver we have this more of a square display right here on the infotainment system right over here now this steering wheel does have black leather on the inside and it is wrapped in this brown wood trim which you find on the trim of the vehicle as well it does wrap on to the back area and the backs of these seats as well now I did complain before in multiple Mercedes-Benz models that the drive select stock is made of plastic and it's seen here but it's a bit more refined since there is aluminum finishes on the ends of them. This is the drive select stop and on the left side right here we have the windshield and uh, turn signal controls. The light controls are no longer located on this small area over here and they're actually now on the top of the driver door and it's absolutely great very nice and easy to read now and easy to reach as well and on the right side of those we do have the air vents on the left side our complete panel except for the window switches have been turned into haptic buttons and that's actually quite nice it's modernized most people do not like this they like the tactile buttons but I think that if Mercedes-Benz is going to move forward, they need to move forward in a very modern way. Now this does not have the 3D high-end surround system, so we do not have Burmester speakers which roll out once you turn on the volume, volume but that's okay. I don't know if it's worth $3,000, I really can't hear a difference. Now I do like this wood on the wheel, it does make the cabin a lot classier and I think that a classy cabin is what you need in a vehicle like this. And this vehicle does have a red leather option. I think that's more suitable for the AMG line 
but regardless you can choose what you like in this interior the engine start stop button has been turned into this very beautiful circular uh, addition with the uh, eco mode start stop button over here the vehicle has this brand new haptic style on the side controls you have again just your call controls your volume controls uh, your mercedes voice assistant assistant on the right and all of your cruise control features on the left alongside that we do have the panel shifters which are nice and wide i do like that quite a bit as well the ambient lighting in this s class is probably the best ambient lighting in any vehicle ever unless you count uh, rolls royce's starlit headliner this is very very phenomenal and i can show you the controls in a bit we also have four of these air vents in the center i do the way i do quite like the way they look and the center we have this tray with a cigarette putting out container i do not promote any smoking on the channel so don't smoke we also have a, a wireless phone charger a cup holder over here where there's actually two but this is a smaller one to host the ashtray and we have a little compartment over here once you pop open the center console it's a very shallow cubby with two usb-c ports now let's get on to the business this is actually your drive mode select system once you put it into uh, this mode select you can move either right or left and that will actually change the way the vehicle drives and it also will change the way the suspension moves because this does have the aromatic suspension along with the aromatic ride control which is quite beautiful on the roads when you do turn into a curve the vehicle will actually level out so you get a level playing field for more comfort now you do have this upgraded mbux system now you have all of your options and instead of displaying a vehicle over here you get a map which is great i do like the way that mercedes-benz has had a gradient on here to really blend in all of these things very well now this system is actually quite advanced when you are close to the vehicle you will see a nice s-class on the front when you scroll out that turns into an arrow you have this very very responsive and very snappy system and going back you do have your phone controls you will have to connect a, a cell phone to access these features you can connect up to two phones at once you also have the radio and it does function very well it picks up signal phenomenally you also have the average just mercedes-benz bluetooth connectivity system now if you did want to go all the way out press apps you can have your dash cam which is included into the vehicle your mercedes-benz me your browser and your energizing coach because this has the upgraded massage functions and those actually include a heated and cooled massage as well now let me show you those you have this hot relaxing back your mobi mobilizing massage activating massage all of those different types of massages you also have these seats and you can actually adjust all of these things as i do it it's very responsive and uh quite intense as well and these sh shoulder bolsters as well it's absolutely great side bolsters these are the dynamic multi-contour seats so when you do turn into uh, tight turns these seats will contour you to keep you as straight as possible ambient lighting i have it in a nice white to match with the sienna brown and black leather but you can change it to up to 64 different colors and when you go into multicolor, you have these multicolor options and it's very responsive not like other mercedes-benz vehicles where it does take a bit of time to actually get into these settings right here absolutely quick and responsive you also have effects so when you have operating feedback there will be blinking where the driver or other passengers are speaking warning support if you have the door open the lights will flash on the side and uh, all of those other sorts of things you also have energizing comfort the vehicle does have an cabin incense and that is located within the glove compartment it's right over there on the right side you open the package put the fragrance into the left compartment and from there you can have your fragrance spray into the cabin it's great we have vehicle settings over here all of your safety uh, warnings and things like that you have your dynamic select which contours the vehicle to an individual driver easy entry uh, the seats and steering wheel will move all the way back and uh, the vehicle may actually 
raise and lower itself with the air suspension so you can get an easier interior and exterior lighting all of those options over here along with the off display and other uh, infotainment and vehicle related information now going into performance as i press the brake here you can see there is uh, just an animation to show you how much things are going on you also have something over here i'll actually have to see what this is while driving and engine you can see how much torque you're making and how much horsepower you're making how much boost you're making in your full-size luxury vehicle along with the temperatures of the fluids in the vehicle very great and you also have a consumption meter which can go as low as seven and a half minutes up to three hours and when you do want to open the climate control menu all you have to do is press the fixed area and it'll actually show you all the other things you can control your fragrance from here and your ionization which will actually take outside air purify it and then bring it into the cabin for fresh air and the climate control system does work pretty good in here i've tested it out it's great almost 100 degrees today in seattle and it's working absolutely fine no issues here again is your vehicle drive functions all of these are listed right over here and it's great and then you have your voice assistant over here and the display off the mute button and the volume button and for the upper area you do have ambient lighting with this metal design in here in order to open the sunroof you do slide your finger black like so and you can slide it back the opposite way to close it your sos buttons and your other light functions as well along with your rear shade button right over here Overall, this is a phenomenal cabin, absolutely great, very comfortable, very luxurious as an S-Class should be. The S-Class keeps its S-Class name and S-Class nobility. I love the S-Class as a whole. Mercedes-Benz has outdone themselves with this 2021 model year. Let's take this vehicle out on the road now. Here we are driving the 2021 Mercedes-Benz S580. Now, I don't want to talk too much, so I'll get the basics through and then I'll show you the rest of the drive without talking and then there's going to be a uh, quick standstill acceleration. Now, air ride suspension is absolutely phenomenal on this vehicle. You feel no bumps on the road whatsoever. Steering is very, very light. You don't feel the resistance in the steering wheel, but you do feel the weight of the vehicle while accelerating and turning. Now this is a 6,200 pound vehicle, so really there's no way of avoiding it, but Mercedes-Benz has done a good job in designing the way their steering does feel. Overall comfort in the seats are great. These are the active bolstering, so when you do take turns, the bolsters in the side of the seats will hug you a bit more, and it does feel pretty good in my opinion. Switching it over to sport mode now, we will do a quick standstill acceleration. The engine goes from purring to roaring very quickly, and it's very good inside the cabin. You do feel like there is a very nice presence of the engine inside the cabin. Now this really isn't a Rolls Royce or Bentley, so you can get that level of comfort and poshness inside the cabin. But when you do think about the price point, this is the best you can get at this price point, unless you're an Audi or BMW fan. We do not do that acceleration first because of that police officer.
For this comparison, I tried to match it up with the holy trinity of Mercedes, Audi, and BMW. Really, it's your choice on what type of car you want, because in the end, the options really match up quite well. It's just the price point you're willing to pay. This Audi A8L specced the way the Mercedes in the video is specced, with a couple of extra options actually. Seems to be at a pretty fair price, almost $20,000 underneath the price of this S580. Keep in mind that for both the Audi and BMW I'm about to show you, I spec them to their engine matching. This A8L does have less horsepower but more torque than the Mercedes, which can be a plus. Their acceleration is pretty much the same. Next is the 2022 BMW 750i xDrive sedan. Notice how I said 2022 because now you can custom order a 2022 BMW 7 series. Now the entire interior and additional options are matched to the Mercedes S580 in the video. The BMW does make a considerable amount more torque and horsepower than the S580 with its 4.4 liter twin turbocharged V8. Now remember how I did say I matched engine choices and options, not the amount of price you're paying. So that's why I did not show the 760i with the twin turbo V12. The price does come to 127,000, which is almost around $10,000 less than the Mercedes S580. Now it's really up to you which car you'd like. And that is all for the 2021 Mercedes-Benz S580 4Matic sedan. I think it is a phenomenal vehicle for how well it performs both standing with luxury while driving and everything in between. This vehicle does cost $135,810 as it stands right here. It is missing a special few thousand dollar paint color and a 3D high end surround system by Burmester. Now, I don't know if you need all those things, but if you don't, this is absolutely the way to go. If you think this vehicle does cost too much and you still want an S-Class, you can step down to the S500, which will have a inline six turbocharged engine under the hood. And you'll also have the pretty much the same features. And then if you did want to step up your luxury, if you didn't think this is enough luxury for you, you can step up to a Maybach trim level, which will have a $25,000 price premium onto it. But obviously, it's all worthwhile. In the end, I believe this looks better in the rear end than in the front end. I do prefer last generation's design, but still modernization needs to occur, and I believe this is the right step forward. Overall, a great vehicle. Thank you to Mercedes-Benz for hosting me again. That is all for today. Please do consider subscribing. Thank you all for watching, and remember to keep on driving.